My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. We went on a little trip to the Midwest to visit my family, and while we were there, we decided to take the opportunity to hunt some bullfrogs with Fang. Did you catch something? Oh, you missed it. Here, 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 Good job, Fang. Let's go back to this window on the lake. Having trouble focusing. Oh, dang it. Good girl. That wasn't a very big one, but it's eatable. It's edible. Good girl. Did the meat catch the frog? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good job, Fang. I don't know. Is there a camera up? This one's huge. Here, 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 here. Holy, Holy crap. Here, 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 here. That's a fat guy. Here, 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 here. <laughs> oh, got that's it. a. Oh, she got it. Oh, what are those crap, it's huge. It sounds like death. It's like so, it's oh the size God, of her. It's so big. That's like a duckling. These are all the bullfrogs we've caught over the last few days with Fang. And uh, they've been in the freezer, most of them, until now. Just thawed them out, getting ready to, to prepare them to eat. This one, we actually, this big old boy we just caught this morning, uh, Fang and I. And it's, it's still fresh, so its nerves make it twitch a little bit. But all the rest just came out of the freezer. So we're going to cut these up and get them ready to eat. Alrighty, so we'll start out with this fresh one. Um, pretty good sized frog. And most of the frog in this area is just guts. They don't have much when it comes to meat in, in their midsection. So that's why people eat frog legs. I used to, when I was young, think, well, why do they waste the whole frog? Well, it's because there isn't really much of anything else to eat but their legs um, the rest of this we're just going to give to the dog and let her eat um, I've tried eating some of their other organs and the, the abdominal muscles and stuff and it doesn't taste all that great it's kind of kind of fishy tasting but the legs are pretty good and all you have to do is uh, skin them which is pretty easy. See the skin just strips right off. And then cut them where the foot ends. Just do a little slice at the joint. A little slice at the joint. And it comes right off. And then um, 
just peel around the other side Cut it up to about where the foot is, and I'll slice at the joint. On the other side again, just mainly cutting a little bit of tendons, and then you can just twist it off. And then uh, there you have it, you've got the legs. So now, just want to cut the legs off. Start on the midsection. You want to just cut a little bit. You don't want to accidentally open up the bowels. So cut up in here and you'll see right here is where the intestine is. You want to be real careful not to open that up on accident. And you see how fresh it is. It's even got a little bit of blood flowing. Like I said, we just barely caught this one a few minutes ago. And um, just going to take your knife and do a couple little cuts. And then a twist. There you have it, there's one. Obviously we're going to rinse that off. Couple little cuts. And whoop, this one's got a little tendon left attached. There we go. We'll go rinse those off. Now if you want, you can try and eat the little bit of meat on their front legs. If it's a real big frog. I had my brothers Nephi and Peter there to help me get through this pile of frogs and cut them all up ready for eating. With all three of us working together, we got through that pile of frogs pretty quick and easy. You see these smaller frogs, their back legs are, are barely big enough to eat. And so I didn't bother get the front legs for them. I just left them on the frog. Like I said, I'll give them to the mink or the dog to eat. But the bigger frogs, they've got some meat on their front legs. So I included their front legs and chest area too. Okay, so what you want to do is dip the frog legs in egg. And what that does is it helps it to... Uh, Helps the breading to stick to the meat better. So you get a little more breading than you would otherwise. Then you just put it in the pan. Let it fry. We need a little more oil. As you see, my oil's kind of been cooked out, but um, that's okay. We'll just do the way we've got it. See, these ones, that looks like it could be done. So what we do to check to see if they're done, you get over here, you just cut it open. You see you want it to be, oh, that might be done. Yeah, it's done. You want it to kind of fall apart when your knife hits it. Not necessarily like fish where it totally crumbles. But if it's holding itself together, then it's not cooked yet. But if it's falling apart when you poke your knife through it, or fork or whatever, see how it kind of crumbles on its own without me cutting it? That's how you know it's done. So we've got the uh, frog legs are all done, and uh, they're ready to eat. So you can eat them. Just like this, so pretty good. Or I like everything with sauce, so I put Louisiana hot sauce on it. And um, mm. it tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. It does a little bit, huh? I like it with hot sauce, but I eat everything with hot sauce, so. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. They're really not that different from. Food that people are normally used to eating, like chicken, like she said. It's really not that different. It's one of those wild meats that really has a mild flavor and a nice texture. It kind of tastes weird. Kind of tastes weird. How does it taste weird? 
taste. That's just the batter that has a tangy taste. It's, um, or not the batter, the breading. It looks shinier. Yeah, it's shinier and it's more tender than chicken. Mm. Chicken's a lot tougher than frog legs. Mm, yeah. But frog legs, if you cook them right, are very, very tender. So, yeah, I hope you guys. Huh, thanks. Hope you guys in, enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, we'll show you some more next time.